So I've just finished my beer. How's the back of And so I'm on what's called the back lot, which you probably heard a lot of in movie terms. And this is normally where they recreate entire areas. And so, hey, Kerry. Hey, Musut. Miss Lena. Sorry, I messed that up, I'm sure. So, this is the night bus when they're driving crazy through London. Yep all in 3D and yes you can hang off the side if you need to there was a queue it is London and then it's the houses it's Harry's house and Privet Lane sorry Privet Drive all right so, number four, Privet Drive, is a quiet suburban home of Dursleys, of the Dursleys, Harry's partner's relative who raised him after his parents' unexpected death. For Harry and the Philosopher's Stone, the exterior was actually filmed in Bracknell, Berkshire, when it was realized that Privet Drive would feature in its future films, a decision was made to recreate the street, giving the production team flexibility. Since production wrap, one key piece of this set has been recreated as actor Rupert Grint kept the original number four as a personal momenta. Oh, So there's the house. And there's the neighbors. Hollywood movies are so fun because you know, you have one camera that films you going up to the door, and then you like, you know, knock on the door, like that. And then as soon as it opens, another camera catches you inside. So there's the number four, which is not the original one, because Rupert has it. Hey, Jacob. I'm here at the Warner, Bo Warner Brothers Studios in London at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. And this is, I'm on Privet Drive. Well, the set of Privet Drive, which is where Harry Potter lives. This is number three, the house next door. And there, so these are like, these are fake plants. These are real plants. Yep, those are real plants. Hey, there's mint. And there's nothing. <laughs> Come on, you could run right through it. Go, go ahead, I'll film it. <laughs> it it's, it's not quite platform nine and three quarter, but it's close, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, everyone is having fun. Everyone's posing with the number four. All right. So, what is the name of this area? Because this is the area that I can't, I can't quite figure out. Hey, video girl, Jean. Nice to have you. So you're allowed to walk through here, but. Ah, it's a Hogwarts bridge. That's what it is. It's amazing, huh? Alright. It is actually chilly today. The, the weather here is just unbelievably weird. But anyway, so they're only letting a few people in at a time. Jeff Walker, number two, and here, remember number this game? 2.30 a.m. here. It says repeat. Pro, what are you doing up so late? 2.33 a.m. Robin, what are, you, what are you up to? Morning from UK. Lucy Tall, Mindy, what's up? 
Adam, good to see you guys. Hey, thanks so much for being on. Uh, what do you win for? I know, comment? Rebecca. Isn't that awesome? Uh, nothing. Look, the pieces are actually moving. Uh, I saw somebody else do that. I thought that was really cool. G'day from Perth. All right, let me turn this around. Hopefully, very cool. I'm using something new. Uh, and of course, Tiffany over at, at they've got the Potter's so Cottage in Good Hollow. This thing. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's kind of it's a home of Harry's parents. Thing, but it's actually a case that has lights on it, but it's not on my phone. And if you can read that holder. Says um, the home of Harris parents, James and Lily, have been left untouched since the night that Voldemort murdered the couple and left Harry with a signature lightning bolt star. Stuart Craig was inspired by the village of Levenham in Suffolk when it came to recreating part of Scotland in Godric's Hollow. Ah, way cool. So. This looks real, but it's not actual. They use uh, Hollywood stuff to make it, but it looks very real. The so plant is the enter in Dumbledore's office, good which outside looks step like back. And of course, it's out of there. It's hard to see from the inside, but you can see the hole. Yes. It's amazing how they make it from the movie. Those paintings are actually handmade. So this is the back lot. And this is a bridge that moves. Though it was never a journey with the time turner more physical and exciting. It's the only session of the bridge that was ever built. The visual effects team created the rest of it. Hmm, interesting. All right, that's it for the outside of the tour. Oh, there are more stuff. You can actually get into the car. Oh, you're welcome, Rebecca. So now you have to come visit because there's nothing really like a personal visit. So this car is at the Finstones car where your feet actually get hung out at the bottom. <laughs> so Rebecca, that makes it easy. You're just in Sweden, you're right there, you can come on over anytime. So you can you can get in the car or you can get on a motorcycle. Right? How cool is that? So when so which means you have to get your parents to take you over, Rebecca. Harry Potter is perfect for fifteen year olds. <laughs> So tell your parents to bring you over. You can come over and experience it for yourself. Now that you've seen it, you got it to whet your appetite. Show them the Periscope video. Tell them it's really cool. All right, folks, enough of the outside. I may do one last periscope of the Warner Brothers Shooter Tour. Depends on what cool stuff I see as the tour continues. Thank you all for watching so far. This is Kerwin with PassWeather.com. Just giving you a little peek at different parts of the Warner Brothers Shooter Tour. Come visit. It's in London, just outside of London. Cost uh, $62 to, to do the visit. So about a hundred dollars for the day if you're going to do um, the tour, transportation, and have something to eat. All right. Talk to you guys soon, and thanks for the love. Thanks for the hearts. Uh, tell folks to follow me and check things out. I appreciate it. This is Curran signing off from the back lot at Warner Brothers Studio in London, England.